Azure Virtual Machines. I know it is probably the first Azure resource that everyone tries when starting to learn Microsoft Azure. But do you know how many different types of Azure Virtual Machines are there? And how many different series of Azure Virtual Machines are there? There are virtual machines for every need you or your company has. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. Today in the episode 12 of Azure Fundamentals, we are going to cover section 2.2.2, which is to learn about different types and series of virtual machines. We will then talk about virtual machine skill sets and availability sets. In the coming episodes, we will cover Azure Virtual Desktop, we will then begin with the section 2.2.3, which is all about describing resources required for virtual machines. We will then move towards section 2.2.4, which is to describe application hosting options, including Azure web apps, containers, and virtual machines. Section 2.2.5 will talk about describing virtual networking, including the purpose of Azure virtual networks, Azure virtual subnets, pairing, Azure DNS, VPN gateway, and express route. And finally, we will also cover define public and private endpoints. So before we begin, if you are new here today, friends, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to receive the timely notifications. Now let's begin with understanding what are the different types and series of virtual machines. So here on this page, you can find information on all the major compute resources. Besides the virtual machines, we also have virtual machine skill sets, Azure Spot Virtual Machines, Azure Kubernetes Services, Azure Functions, App Services, Azure Containers, and many more. For now, let's concentrate on Azure Virtual Machines. And here you can see the first thing to notice that Virtual Machines comes in two flavors, Linux and Windows. So let's click here and deep dive in virtual machines. Here you can see that Microsoft is saying that you can deploy virtual machines featuring up to 416 vCPUs and 12 terabytes of memory. Get up to 3.7 million local storage IOPS per virtual machine. Take the advantage of up to 30 gigabytes per second Ethernet and Cloud's first deployment of 200 gigabyte InfiniBand. Now let's explore all the virtual machine series that Microsoft offers and here on this page you can see that we have lot of Azure virtual machine series. We have A series, then we also have B series, D series and similarly E series and moving on we have F series, G series, H series and lot of other series to be explored. And friends, I'm sure that looking at all these series, now you might be confused which series will actually suit your business case. On this slide, I have summarized all the types of virtual machine series currently available in Microsoft Azure. To begin with, we have a series of virtual machines, which are entry level virtual machines for your development and test requirements. Then we have BS series, which is economical burstable virtual machines. D series is general purpose compute virtual machines, which is very suitable for normal business cases. And then we have E series, which is optimized for the in-memory applications. F series is for the compute optimized virtual machines. G series is memory and storage optimized virtual machines. Moving on, we have H series, which is high performance computing virtual machines. LS series is actually storage optimized virtual machines. Moving on, we have M series, which is memory optimized virtual machines. Moving on, we have MV2 series, which are largest memory optimized virtual machines. And then finally, we have N series, which is GPU enabled virtual machines. So this is the quick summary on all the virtual machine series. Read it, but explore from the Microsoft documentation to understand all these series in a great detail. Okay, so great. Now you know what are virtual machines, what are different types and series of virtual machines. Now imagine that you are running a website on a web server hosted on a virtual machines. Business is going good and soon there is Christmas and you are expecting high sales volume coming up through this website. Now you might be wondering what is the solution to handle this surge in demand. Now there are obvious solutions that might be popping up in your mind. For example, scale up the virtual machine. But friends, scaling up a virtual machine has its own limitation. You cannot scale up a virtual machine infinitely. So maybe the next obvious solution or the answer that comes to your mind is scale out. 
Well, that is one viable option, but managing so many individual virtual machines, hosting a web server can really become a challenge soon. Well, of course, here comes Microsoft Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set as the solution for this problem. On a side note, if you want to gain in-depth knowledge on scale up and scale out and how they differ from each other, please watch the part six of this series where I have explained scalability in depth. The part six will make you understand scale up, scale down, scale out and scale in. But for now, let's start to understand what are Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set and we will start with the definition and as per Microsoft, Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets lets you create and manage a group of load balanced virtual machines. The number of virtual machine instances automatically increase or decrease in response to the demand or defined schedule. Now let's understand when to use Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set. So on this documentation, you can deep dive on Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets. We have already checked out the definition, so I will not jump into that. But let's understand what are the benefits of Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets. And here you can see that Microsoft says that it's easy to create and manage multiple virtual machines. And that's exactly what our business case is. We have a website and we are expecting a load in the demand to be coming in the Christmas times. And in that case, we might need multiple virtual machines and Azure Virtual Machine Skill Set is the best way to manage multiple virtual machines. The second benefit is that Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets provides high availability and application resiliency by distributing virtual machines across multiple availability zones or fault domains. Thirdly, it says that it allows your application to automatically scale as the resource demand changes. And last but not the least, it works at large scale. And friends, if you want to understand each of this benefit in a lot more detail, then you can scroll down in this documentation itself. And then here you can see each of the benefit with all the complete details. And before leaving the documentation, I want to read this section, which says that Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets provide the management capabilities for the applications that run across many virtual machines automatic scaling of resources and load balancing of traffic. So I hope this gives you a fair idea what are Azure Virtual Machine Skill Sets and why would you actually use it for. And I would also like to summarize as Virtual Machine Skill Set is an important topic. So basically Virtual Machine Skill Sets are the objects that are used to run multiple instances of your application and maintain a consistent configuration across your environment. Secondly, virtual machine skill sets lets you build a large scale services for areas such as compute, big data and container workloads. And then my friends, skill sets provide high availability to your applications and allow you to centrally manage, configure and update large number of virtual machines. And here comes a very important point from the exam perspective and also your day to day working on Azure Virtual Machine skill set that the virtual machines in a skill set are identical and you can create them from the same base operating system image. So keep this important tip always in your mind. And this brings us to another important Azure concept, Azure availability sets. And as per Microsoft, an availability set is a logical grouping of virtual machines that allows Azure to understand how your application is built to provide for redundancy and availability. And the recommendations from Microsoft is that two or more virtual machines are created within an availability set to provide for a highly available application and to meet the 99.95% Azure SLA. And interestingly, my friends, there is no cost for the availability itself. You only pay for each virtual machine instance that you create. Now let's dig this even further. When adding virtual machines to an availability set, Azure automatically assigns each virtual machine an update domain and a fault domain. And I'm sure that you might be wondering what exactly is now update domain and fault domain. So let's start with understanding update domain. Microsoft periodically updates the underlying Azure fabric that's used to host virtual machine to patch security vulnerabilities and to improve reliability and performance. These updates, which Microsoft refers to as planned maintenance events, are often performed without any impact to the guest virtual machines. Sometimes, however, guest virtual machines must be rebooted to complete an update 
and for that to reduce the impact on guest virtual machines the azure fabric is divided into update domains to ensure that not all guest virtual machines are rebooted at the same time now coming to what is a fault domain well sometimes there are unplanned maintenance events as well these are those events which involve a hardware failure or physical failure in the fabric such as a disk power or a network card outage azure automatically fails over guest virtual machines to a working physical host in a different fault domain when an error condition is detected again this is aimed at ensuring availability now coming back to our availability set concept when adding virtual machine to an availability set azure automatically assigns each virtual machine an update domain and a fault domain each availability set can be configured with up to three fault domains and 20 update domains and when more than five virtual machines are configured within a single availability set with five update domains the sixth virtual machine is placed into the same update domain as the first virtual machine similarly the seventh one will go in the same update domain as the second virtual machine and so on and so forth and friends please remember only one update domain is ever rebooted at a time but important point is that reboot order is not necessarily sequential so the fifth update domain could be rebooted before the first and now coming to the fault domains by default the virtual machines configured within your availability set are separated across up to three fault domains while placing your virtual machines into an availability set does not protect your application from the operating and application specific failures it does limit the impact of potential physical hardware failures network outages and power interruptions and friends i truly understand that the concept of availability set fault domain and update domain is a little tricky one so i will plan to make a detailed video on this concept also a lot of people often get confused between the availability set and availability zone if that's the case with you please refer part 8 of this series where i have explained azure global infrastructure in complete domain including the concept of availability zone and friends for today i will stop here as we have covered a lot of topics which are little confusing so i would request you to rewind the video and watch it multiple times I have also left a Microsoft documentation link in the description box where you can understand more on availability set, fault domain and update domain. In the coming episodes, we are going to cover Azure Virtual Desktop and we will also understand what are the resources required for virtual machines. A lot of exciting new learning is coming up and I am sure that you don't want to miss on the same. So please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you get the timely notifications of all our upcoming videos. And please do not forget to like and share the video. And in case you have any question, doubt or feedback, do let me know in the comment section or any other social media platform. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.